Welcome back everyone. Starting this video, let's take a look at the feedback components in Material UI. For our first component, let's take a look at the alert component. An alert displays a short, important message in a way that attracts the user's attention without interrupting the user's task. Let's understand its usage with an example. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder, muialert.tsx. Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. I'm also going to import the stack component as we will be adding several alert components. Now, instead of the div tag, use the stack component. Add spacing is equal to Two. Now to make use of the alert component, we first import it at the top. Now for the JSX, within the stack component, invoke the alert component. The alert component will accept severity as a prop and some text in between the opening and closing tags. The severity can be one of error, warning, info, or success. Let's create an alert for each of them. Error. This is an error alert. Similarly, warning, warning alert, info alert, and finally, success alert. If we now save the file, Included an app component. And head to the browser. You should be able to see the four alerts being displayed. One for each severity. Error, warning, info, and success. Let's now take a look at some useful props. The first prop is the variant prop, which can be outlined or filled. Let's make a copy of the four alerts and paste it twice. On the first copy of the four alerts, set variant is equal to outlined. On the last four, set variant is equal to filled. If we now save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see the default outlined and filled variants. The next addition is a title to the alert component. For that, you need to import the alert title component at the top. Now, within the alert, we can add alert title, error, and similar for the other severities. Warning, Info, success. If we head back to the browser, you can see the alert title in the last four alerts. The text, of course, can be anything you wish to. The next change is that of the icon being displayed. At the moment, the success alert has a circled check icon. Let's change this. At the top, import check icon and now on the last success alert we can set icon is equal to check icon font size is equal to inherit take a look at the browser and you can see the icon has changed the same holds good for the other alerts as well the next change is the inclusion of a close button for the alert. On the error alert, let's add on close is equal to an arrow function which calls alert passing in close alert as the text. If we head back to the browser, you can see there is a close icon at the right hand side of the error alert. Click and it shows the alert. Now I simply have an alert popping up 
but you can create a state variable to manage hiding and showing of this alert component. Last but not the least, you can also include an action element into an alert. At the top, import button component. And now on the success alert, we can add the button component. The text is undo. Color is equal to inherit. Size is equal to small. Head back to the browser. And we see the action button. Once again, I've not implemented the click handler as that is React code and not specific to Material UI. With something like an undo button, you may probably want to revert the change that you've just done. All right, hopefully you've got the idea of the alert component from Material UI. In the next video, let's make use of this alert component and learn about the snack bar component.